Get Caravan Insurance. Up to 45% discount. And hitch up with one of our policy types. Get a quote today. Visit theinsuranceemporium.co.uk. I'm Claire, editor of Caravan Magazine. Caravan Magazine has been going since the 1930s, so we certainly know a thing or two about caravanning. In this series of videos, we're going to be showing you, the absolute beginner, how to master the basics in caravanning. And that's everything from hitching up to setting up on your pitch. In this video, we're going to be showing you one of the most important elements of caravanning, and that's pairing your car with your caravan, otherwise known as hitching up. Some people use something called a motor mover, but in this video, we're going to be showing you the old fashioned way. It's a bit tough. <laughs> Before you even think about hitching up though, you need to do some essential checks inside your caravan. So you want to check that your gas is off, that all the windows are closed and the roof lights too, and check that all items are secured so nothing moves around in transit. I've come to pick up my new caravan today. Now, the first step you need to do when you're thinking about hitching up is ensure that your caravan's handbrake is on. This is the handbrake here, and it's on. If your caravan isn't on a level pitch, you'll want to use chocks to get the caravan off the pitch smoothly. However, the pitch here is level, so all I need to do now is to raise the caravan steadies. The steadies are the caravan's legs, and to do this, you'll need this tool. So you pop it in there, and then you need to start moving it in an anti-clockwise direction. And you go all the way up. You need a bit of muscle for this sometimes. You need to check that your corner steadies are in the up position to avoid dragging them on the ground. Not a good idea. Now it's time to start reversing the car back towards the caravan. We'd always recommend that you have someone to help guide you back rather than rely on your reversing camera. Now you want to get into such a position that the tow ball is just below the caravan's hitch head. This is the caravan's breakaway cable. In the unfortunate event of your caravan becoming detached from the car, this will bring the caravan to a halt. Okay, so to attach it to the car, you just unclip it here, and then you take it round underneath the tow ball here, and clip it back on itself. Some caravans have a designated space where you can attach the breakaway cable, but in this instance, we've just attached it back to itself. So I just need to check that the hitch head is more or less directly above the tow ball, and then we're gonna start lowering it down. Okay, so you need to start lowering the hitch head by putting your hand here on this handle. This is the handle of the jockey wheel, and then you're gonna wind it in a clockwise direction. Now you need to check the safety indicators. Yep, they're all good. And activate the hitch by pushing the handle down. And that's the stabiliser done. Wind the jockey wheel in an anti-clockwise direction to check there's no movement here at all. And there isn't. Okay, this is the notch here. You need to manually guide it up. Okay, take it slowly. Okay, loosen the clamp here while holding on to the jockey wheel. You need to turn it round. Lift it back up. You want to tuck it out of the way and then pop the clamp back on so it doesn't drop down while you're towing. 
So the electric cable is here. So we just take that out. Just check that there's no dust or debris in there. Okay, so once we've checked this is all clean, you need to go to your caravan's electric here. It might be on a different place in your car. And then you need to match the 13 pin here to the 13 pin socket here. If it doesn't go in easily straight away, chances are you might need to get a 13 pin realignment tool and your dealer can help you with that. You pop this in there, then you just do a quarter turn clockwise and then that should fit snug on there. So that's your electric, it's all hooked up. Then check your lights. Simply ask your trusty helper to stand behind the caravan and check that the brake lights are working and the indicators. And don't forget you need to stick your number plate on the back of the caravan. Done. Towing mirrors are an essential bit of kit for every caravaner and you need to be able to see clearly down both sides of the caravan in order to be safe and to be legal. This is how you fit a towing mirror. Now this is really important and it's the last thing you do before you set off. You need to take your caravan's handbrake off. It can be a bit tough. Oh, we did it. Now you're all hitched up, you can be on your way. Get caravan insurance, up to 45% discount, and hitch up with one of our policy types. Get a quote today. Visit theinsuranceemporium.co.uk.